going through some transitions in my life so I wanted to have a little heart to heart with you guys so without further ado let's get into the video all right so today I want to discuss do I or do you really love you do I really love me do I really love me so Sunday I did a podcast and it's it's very it's my most vulnerable podcast and it is Welcome to the Broken Me. Um if you don't know, I do have previous videos which I will link or add cards in uh, where I tell the truth about who I am because my brand is me. I'm small talk and I'm my brand. So Sunday night I did my podcast on Welcome to the Broken Me. And while I was doing my podcast, I realized, girl, you think you love you sometimes, you don't really love you. So I want to have this, I want to make this video because sometimes we have to take a step back, look at our decisions, look at the things that we go through and look at how our life is flowing. And we have to realize, do I really love me? Hmm. Do I really love me? So number one i was like i said i did my podcast and i was listening i was thinking like i'm gonna be real with y'all because y'all are my supporters and y'all y'all rock with me so um i had a a big moment of depression big big moment of depression when i say big because i haven't had this type of energy on me this type of feeling on me in years years like this whole time it has been about healing and transitioning becoming a better person for me myself and my brand so um i was so 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 depressed like i don't think people understand how strong depression is like everybody was trying to tell me we care about you we love you we here and I had made up in my mind, y'all not here for me, y'all don't care about me. Like, that's what I had made up in my mind because it, it was dwelling on me, dwelling on me. Dwell, and then within that depression, all I could think about was all the pain, all the hurt, all the stuff I went through. It just kept coming back. It, come, it came rushing back, which made it worse. So, like I said, I did my podcast and I talked about this. I'm going to link it or put it on the caption here so you guys can go listen to it. So I did a podcast on it and as I'm doing my podcast and I'm listening and I'm talking, I'm just being so I'm being honest and transparent about everything. I realized that I thought I loved me. But sometimes I make decisions to where I don't really love me. Like I I really sat and thought and I'm like, I'm beautiful, I love me, I'm strong, I'm powerful, but it's like Sometimes we, we, we get into life and we go through deja vu because we, we keep repeating cycles over and over and over again. Stuff keeps happening over and over again because we keep making the same decisions over and over again. So I'm like, okay, Simone, you're making the same decisions over and over again. Do you really love me? You're allowing these people to come into your life. You see the red flags, but you still let them in your life. Do you really love you? You let people use you, abuse you, and hurt you do you really love you so now i'm really like deep on this journey to heal myself because looking at a lot of decisions i've been making i'm not gonna lie i don't really love me i i thought i did but i don't i let people walk all over me i let people literally drain me of the good heart that i have and still want them to be in my life like, I've let people belittle me. I let people, like, just treat me like trash. 
And I was talking to my sister Sunday night and she told me the way people treat me, the way people treat you is a reflection of how you see yourself. So I started to think, how do I see myself? I thought I saw myself as beautiful, powerful, strong, loving, careless lover. But I am beautiful. I am powerful and I am strong. It's that good heart in me and the careless lover that gets me. And that's when I realized I didn't love me because everything I did was to show everybody else how much I love them, how much I rock with them, how much I got their back, how much I'm in their corner. I would die of myself. I would, <laughs> shoot, I would put me on the back burner. I would do things to show people I love you and I'm here for you. Just to watch them take everything, walk out my life or throw up intimate things that I said to them in my face or turn toxic on me. And I'm just like, you love the love of others more than you love yourself. So I made this video to, to come to y'all and say, love you first, put you first. There is nothing wrong with being selfish and putting you first. Because as long as you love others more than you love yourself, you will find yourself hurt, down, being mistreated, being used, and accepting anything. I love you first and put you first. Yes, you can love people. Yes, you can help people. But don't help them to a extent where it's draining you and you're not getting anything in return. And this is, I tell my friends this, anybody that comes to my heart, I tell them this all the time. I don't want your money. I can make my own money. God blesses me. When I'm down and out, I'm always blessed. A blessing always comes. I never stay down. But I tell people, I just want the energy that I give out reciprocated. That's that's all I ask anybody that comes to my life. All I ask of them, you know, I go hard for the people I love. And all I ask is for the energy to be reciprocated. You go as hard for me as I go as hard for you. You pour into me, I pour into you. You help support me, I help support you. But no more, no longer would this be a one-way street. Because if I'm giving and you're take, 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 taking, then I'm draining, 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 draining. And I need all of my energy. I need a sound mind. I need peace. I need sanity. I need happiness. I need all of that. So just take a second, take a few minutes, and do a little reflection. Do I really love me? Do you really love me? Look at 2020 and some of the decisions you made. Do you really love you? If the answer is yes, I'm almost there with you. If the answer is no, take that time to see where you're putting all of your love and your energy to. That's not reciprocating the energy that you should be receiving back. Take a second to look into that. Because at the end of the day, people people think I'm crazy. They don't, they think I be tripping because this is how I look at it. I can come into your life and bless you and help you elevate and watch you move on. And if you don't reciprocate that energy to me, then I'm gonna be 10, 10 steps backwards. It has to be even. We have to, it has to be a balance. It can't be me, it can't be a 80-20. It can't be a 120. To me, it has to be 50-50. 50-50. That's true. That's true growth and elevation. I saw um, Regine, she made a post. She was like, her mom was like, when people come into your life, you water each other and you grow together. That's what, that's what true relationship is about with friends, spouse, whoever. It's about you watering each other. Not just one person watering one person and then you build up, then you come back and grab the person. No, you should move and elevate together. You, you move and elevate, I move and elevate with you. Not pour, pour into me now. Believe in me now. Do this for me now, then when I make it, I'ma reach back for you. I'ma come back for you. Nah, I, because if I wait on you, then I'm letting everything else that could be coming, coming up just die. People need you. People need what you got. So if you're not growing together, if you're not watering each other, you're gonna be drained. It's gonna be hard. And you don't have to, I, one thing I learned as, an, as I got older, I used to make excuses for people. Oh, they're like this because of what they've been through, what they know. When a person really loves you and is there for you and really in your corner, 
they will learn to be a friend to you. They will learn to support you. Because seeing you win and seeing you happy is just as important as them winning and them being happy. That's what that's what true friendship, companionship is about. To see you win and to see you happy is to see me win and to see me happy. That's what it's really about. That's really what relationships is about. It's about I win, you win. You lose, I lose. But guess what? We're going to bounce back together. That's the type of friendships and relationships I want. I no longer want, and my sister me write down what I want and what I don't want. I no longer want people I have to continuously pour into that can't pour back into me. And then when I address it to you, you act like I'm tripping. No, I'm not tripping. Because Simone has a big heart. A very big heart. But you, I had to realize that we can be in his image and his likeness and not have to sacrifice so much of ourselves to others. And I was watching this sermon last night and I'm going to end with this. This man said, stop trying to prove yourself to people. Stop trying to prove that you love somebody. Stop trying to prove that you brought with somebody. Stop trying to prove to people why they should keep you, believe you, love you see you stop trying to prove yourself to people because the right people will see it the right people will see it and pour into you the way that you need to be poured into anything you have to force is not genuine anything you have to force and pull out and cry to somebody about is not genuine because the right person that loves you and is there for you and is in your corner is going to see something in you that you don't see in yourself and they're going to be like, you know what? My love for you is so strong. I see you. Stop trying to prove yourself to people. Because all you're doing is affecting your worth and your value. So me, I'm no longer proving myself to people. And I'm a strong believer that actions speak louder than words. So if my actions that I am showing you, that to match up to what I am telling you is not enough for you to see me, to see my value, I'm no longer proving myself to you because I'm a great person. I have my faults. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not perfect. I have my faults. I'm emotional, you know, I fall short. But that's the human in me. But I'm no longer proving myself to nobody. I've done my work. If you don't see that, that's on you. But um, elevation requires separation. So. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being in my life. But I'm no longer proving myself to anybody. I'm not doing it anymore. Because I go hard. No one can ever say that I don't go hard for the people I love. Because as a friend or anything, all the people that have been, they know if they call me and need me and need something, I got them. But I don't ran it enough. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, this talk, this chit chat with me. Um, and you know, I have to end with this. Your testimony is your purpose, and your purpose is your power. Never let somebody else dim your light because you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're strong, you're powerful. You're the child of a king, and don't you forget that. Simone Talk signing out. Peace.